Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge, and today we're coming to you from the RE Plus Southeast Regional Solar Conference in Atlanta. Uh, and I'm joined by Lexi Lucas again from Aptos, and in today's video we're going to be looking at the new Aptos 800 watt microinverter. So, um, Lexi, thanks for joining me again. Yeah, thanks for having us. Excited to talk about our new micro. Yeah, so tell me, um, if you want just kind of take it from the top, what do we need sure. to know about the, the new Aptos microinverter? Well, as we started to develop and, and manufacture higher output modules, now we have you know, a residential solution that's 440 watts. Um, it really got us thinking uh, about what microinverter solutions would pair optimally with our products. And the truth is that there wasn't a lot of options that would really do the power output of our modules justice. So um, it prompted us to want to bring our own solution to market. Um, here I have a dual unit, so it's two panels to one microinverter. And it has an 800 watt AC output, so 400 watt AC output per panel. Um, and I think, you know, this is a value that, you know, when monitoring is, is a thing, you know, homeowners will be really happy to see they're capturing higher production and not seeing that beautiful production curve get massacred at peak production time. Right. You know, and this is something that we've t talked about, you know, before, guys, is this, this, this whole issue of clipping loss. We've seen that the, the power output on the solar panels has been, you know, outpacing the growth in power output on some of the inverters or the microinverters. And so what ends up happening in some cases is, you know, you may have a solar panel, like, like the DNA120, for example, that's capable of putting out, you know, 440 watts of power. You know, of course, this is in peak ideal conditions. But if you have a solar panel that's capable of putting out 440 watts, but if your microinverter can only put out, let's say, 350 watts, then that difference is, is what's called the clipping loss. And so you're, you're basically, there's, there's energy there that you're not able to capitalize on because the, the microinverter just can't handle it. Yeah, I think that's a big issue that we're facing. Um, different segments of our industry are kind of working in silo, right? Um, my, uh, panel manufacturers are racing to the top and we're seeing microinverter technology kind of plateau. Um, so we're really hoping to reach across segments and bring more collaboration uh, so that we can truly provide a solution to the homeowners and the end users um, that will bring them the best ROI. Um, so going back to the inverter clipping, I mean, if you think about that production curve and it gets massacred, what will you know harnessing that top part of that curve do for the homeowner's return on investment or their payback period? Um, so I think that type of mindset, that kind, that type of design innovation, is really what our industry is looking for and needing. Absolutely. And so, um, are you going to be able to introduce your microinverter at a price point that's going to be competitive with some of the market leaders? I think so. I think, um, just like our panels, um, we believe in making uh, products higher performance, uh, but driving the cost of manufacturing down. The sexiness of a technology can never outweigh uh, the bottom line for the end user. Um, finding ways to make our products and our technology perform in markets where the cost of electricity is relatively affordable, like Texas or Florida, is really you know, important to us. And then additionally, looking to the day that subsidies dry up, right? There will come a day where the federal tax incentive won't be there for us to fall back on to make our solutions just a little bit more cost affordable for the homeowner. So how do we compete when that day comes and how can our industry stand on its own? It's really going to go back to the manufacturer's ability to truly innovate, increase power performance, and drive the cost of manufacturing down. Now, do you think that you, you can actually achieve cost decreases in this environment? I know a lot of what we're hearing is prices are going up, supply chains are, are, are overstretched, and, and we're going to have to raise retail prices. Now, we haven't raised our retail prices yet, but I, I am anticipating that it's, it's going to be any, any day or any, any week now. Um, are, do you actually see being able to reduce manufacturing costs on these units? Well, if you think about the cost, baseline costs, right? So raw material, fuel, all of the components that go into getting this packaged up and delivered home, well, sure, those costs are rising. And we see it in every vertical, you know, grocery stores even. Um, so yes, um, cost has gone up, but if you consider the technology and its capabilities, it's still a lower cost value than what the other solutions are on the market with, um, you know, those solutions not really keeping up with the performance. 
Understood, understood. So when do you anticipate actually rolling this out into distribution to where the installers can, can access it? Yeah, so our product is readily available. Um, we do have inventory in our warehouses in California. A lot of our distribution partners are starting to ramp up procurement and ordering our products. So hopefully within the coming months, uh, very soon, it'll be readily available. Great. Well, Lexi, thank you for taking time to chat with us again. Uh, folks, again, this has been a quick look at the new Aptos 800-watt AC output uh, dual module microinverter. Um, folks, as always, if you're getting good value from the information that we have on Solar Surge here, um, be sure to click on the thumbs up button. I, I know I say it all the time, click the thumbs up button, but it, it really does help as far as getting wider um, audience uh, to the uh, video. Uh, and also, please consider subscribing to the channel as well if you haven't done so already. Uh, right now, we're trying to get two or three new videos out for you every week, especially videos like this one where we have new products that are coming onto the marketplace to make sure that you guys have the best information. Well, Lexi, anything else you'd like to share with the audience? No, I think that pretty much covers you know, some of our latest products and features. We're super proud of our technology and excited to see it deployed into the market. So um, let's keep spreading solar. Absolutely. Well, folks, thanks for taking time to share with Solar Search today. As always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.